Hello and welcome to a new video on the Road of Glory. Today we're going to see if the online draft actually pays off and if it does, how much profit can you make? Now I'm just going to show you the draft that I made. I'm not going to actually show you any gameplay. Nobody was really interested in that. When making the draft, the interesting part is making the draft and see which players you pick and what team you make. So here, as you can see at the beginning, I started off with this IE. Because of the 41212 formation that I picked, the CDM is a very important um, player to get, so you can link the defense with the uh, center backs and the cam. So getting a, a, an icon there was really important. As you can see next, for strikes, I picked Benzema and uh, Mertens, so I can have the option of going uh, the Italian league or the Spanish league. And as a midfielder, I picked the Bruyne, so I can also get the link for the Prem if I get CMs that can go that way. Now in this choice, I could have gone with Gidea, uh, which was the obvious option. I went with the Italian league because I was thinking that for the left back or the right back, but more so the left back position, I can get a, a good option there. Um, so that's the why I picked a, a guy from the Italian league, uh, also to link up Mertens, because uh, I could possibly get Sandro there. And uh, for the right CM, I went with Cruz because I can get the strong link to Benzema, but also that you can get a strong link and a good player on uh, the right back or the left back position. As you can see, I actually did get Sandro. So now for the other pick that I slowed down here, the obvious option would have been Chiellini, but I went with Ramos because I knew there were better options on getting uh, a better Italian left back, uh, center back, sorry. Uh, which actually didn't work out. As you can see here, I could have go with uh, actually Raul Albiol, but nobody's gonna pick a 48 pace defender. So I went with Otamendi, which actually did pay out as we get Zao Cancelo here. And for uh, the goalkeeper, we got Van de Zau, which is excellent, but he's a really bad goalkeeper. Uh, this is one, one, game, one foot draft, and I also got him in another foot draft. And I really don't like him. I think he's really horrible, or at least this version of him is really bad. Um, here, um, nothing really in this uh, this pick. Um, and this pick, I uh, get the alternative to put in, which is this guy Toloi, so I can put in for Ramos and get those uh, links in, so I can actually substitute Ramos in uh, at the beginning, which is what I did in every game. I took up Toloi and put in Ramos uh, right away at the beginning, since. Um, uh, picking Ramos didn't actually pay off, but it was a risk that I wanted to take so I can have a, a solid center back at uh, the back with Ramos. Um, the previous one with Guerrero, not really a good pick, is not even, in my opinion, a good uh, sub. <clears throat> uh, here we get the first great super sub, which is going to be Salah. Uh, Eriksen, not really an option to putting him in. And this is a player that we got that actually won us the game. Uh, obviously not Nangolan, but Nangolan would have been a good shout to put in. We would have gotten a strong link to Mertens and also soft link to De Bruyne. But I couldn't pass off the chance to play with uh, the screen card for Mino. This card looks fantastic um, to play anywhere. Uh, but um, putting him in the camp position uh, gave me that extra chem links I needed. And with, um, I think it's not the next one, but the one after that, I link up with Firmino and bring the team all together. Here we get the second super sub, which is going to be Neymar, of course. So actually in most of the games, except the first one, which I want really easy, uh, the second, third and fourth, uh, my substitutes at the beginning were Ramos for Toloi and Neymar for Benzema up top. Uh, so, um, and then um, in the second half of some games, I will put Salah in for Mertens. Uh, here, if I'm not mistaken, now this is a silver pick. So the next one, this one, uh, is gonna be Fabinho, which is the pick that I needed. So I can put Fabinho in, uh, swap some players around, get 100 chem, uh, get everybody on full chem, except for Benzema and uh, Benzema and um, Mertens. But I'm fine with playing players on at least seven chem, which is what Benzema would have but not Mertens because he's a CF, so he has only six camps. So we will depend on him on getting a manager that will push him up to seven camp. Uh, and if he starts on seven camp, it's fine. It's like putting him in as a sub. So for me, seven camp is fine to play in the draft or even in your team anyways. As you can see here, I'm trying different uh, players to see if I can actually get a better, uh, some better camp up top. Uh, we can't, 
So we move on with the last two picks, uh, actually last three picks. This one is Rebbage, nothing really. And the last pick is going to be another good player. Dam no, it was a Dama Triorer that I picked, uh, not really used at all. And for the keeper, I was hoping for a better keeper that I can get, maybe Allison, uh, to substitute Van Sar because I really don't like him. I don't think he's good at all. We're not getting the keeper here. So we have to go with Van Sar. He nearly cost us um, the second and the third game, or the third and the fourth game, because of some idiotic goals that he were to, uh, led uh, through the opponent to score. But anyways, we managed to pull through. Uh, here for the manager, we actually managed to pick up uh, the, a great manager, which is going to be the Brazilian in the Italian league. So we get Mertens uh, on seven camp, and we also get Firmino on 10. And what else? And that's about it. So this is the best one. The one I was looking for was to get Elise Mertens on seven camp. We got that. So this is the team, 187, uh, that we go into the game and we win the draft. As you can see here, uh, we win the draft, the packs that we get, uh, to my opinion, they're actually really good. As you can see, my coin balance actually shifted during the start and the beginning. So I actually added this because I had those Polish cards uh, listed for sale before I started uh, and they actually sold in the meantime. So these are the cards that I mentioned in the previous video that I had actually bought for 13,000, 12,000 on the Friday and we sold for 69K. So that would be about 350,000. So that's a good uh, 300,000 piece profit. Let's go and open these packs and see if we can actually make any profit and how much profit we actually did make. Uh, here we have the packs, a mega pack and a premium gold player packs. This is a gold reward pack I got for the, what was it? Uh, the web app login, the daily reward. So we'll open this really quickly, nothing really there. Um, best I think I got uh, was once, I think I got 5k, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the rest have pretty, pretty much been horrible. So. Uh, anyways, free player, can't uh, say no to that. Let's open the premium gold players pack first. Uh, actually, in the state of the market that it is now, the non-rare gold is actually worth more than some rares, so this could be an actual good pack, depending on the non-rares that we get. Um, this one is not good. He's not worth anything, but depending on some of the non-rares, uh, we might get some profit. Right, so after a quick search, uh, what we have here is uh, Balbuena, which is worth, I think, um, actually, you can see here, it's he's uh, selling at 1800 now on the market. Uh, we have Marcano, uh, which is worth uh, 1600 so that'll be 3400 We have uh, Hubner, Hubner, which is worth 1200 so that will take us to 4,800 and we also have uh, Oskan here which is another thousand so that will be uh, 5,800 um, for the rest we'll say one two three four um, four five with Bendel uh, maybe 400 so that will be another 2,000 8,000 and the discard rares another 2,000 so that will take us to 10,000 for this pack in total. So we'll put these guys that are selling up and sell them right away. Actually, I'll just uh, list them right now. 10,000. And I'll move the other, the rest of them uh, off. So that's 10,000 for the first pack, the rear, uh, premium players pack. Uh, also 2,000 match points, so that's 12,000. So we only need 3,000 more from the Mega Pack, which is like a sure thing to get. But hopefully we can hit a big player and really get um, paid off here. So there's gonna be a board or a walkout. It's gonna be a Champions League. Fail. Uh, anyways, it's not bad. Um, 83 Rams v Champions League. Uh, he's probably worth some points. I uh, would have guessed. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have a look here. I'm not getting that many players here, so we not might not get so many uh, coins here. So uh, we have uh, Ramsey coming in at 2,000 coins. Uh, that was taken to 14. We have uh, oops, we have actually Acuna uh, that is actually worth 900 coins now, so that will be 15,000. We already covered. 
uh, the entrance fee. Um, so the profit will be swap, which is uh, 900 coins. Um, uh, nothing else here. Those player contracts, which is like another thousand, so that's 2,000. Uh, 1,500 from the squad fitness, so 3,500. Uh, CM to CAM is not worth anything. CAM to CM is worth like 2,000. There'll be 5,500. Uh, CDM to CM, I think it's around 1,500, so it takes to 7,000. Uh, nothing else here. Um, Lunzing is discard. Um, so that with the other two players, maybe 8,500. Goes to 9,000. Stark is actually worth around 1,000 to 1,100 coins, so that's 10,000. And another 800 here, so around 11,000 coins. I would say we, that the total profit with the rest of the stuff be around 12,000 coins um, for playing four games. So 12,000 for four games, roughly took about an hour and a half to get. Um, so maybe 3, 000, around 3,000, <clears throat> around that area, 3,000 per game. I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, you can get 3,000 with like flipping uh, uh, a card on the market, like position change, um, easy within like uh, five minutes. So it's not really worth it to me, uh, unless you get really lucky with the packs and get a really big player. Um, this is not worth it. And I think this is pretty much an average uh, pack opening that you will get for a draft. Um, like I said, if you don't get lucky, <coughs> excuse me, and get a big pack, uh, big packs, or get a big pull from the draft, uh, it's not really worth uh, grinding it so hard. Uh, you're better off trying to flip some cards on the market and you're gonna make a lot more profit. So this is gonna be it for the video for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.